Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Muthu Kumar. In this video, we are going to solve the problems in which is assessment of uh, MLS system design with ARM. Before going into the video, do subscribe my YouTube channel and hit like button if you are like this video. Let's start. The first question is which of the following statement is true? In first three statements, in open loop control system, there are no feedback loop. So the first three statements are false, and the second and the remaining statements are true. So the answer is B E because in open loop system, the feedback loop is false. The second question consider the following statement: the on-off controller is analog in nature. False because the on off controller is uh, digital in nature and the uh, on off controller is uh, inexpensive, cheapest controller. So the two statements are uh, false. So the answer is uh, B. Both the statements are uh, false. In third question, which of the following statement is uh, true? Uh, here the proportional control will improve uh, which of the following statement is of false so read the question carefully so in the three statements uh, both uh, all the statements are true so the answer is uh, an object the fourth question which of the following control can uh, lead to zero error integral control Interesting. Mm, when the normally closed and the normally open output ports of a relay module get connected with each other, no, it is not possible. The normally open and normally closed contacts uh, will never uh, connect uh, each other. So, connect each other. So, the answer is P. This is question. Just the following statements are true for. Uh, Electro mechanical relay. So, uh, electro mechanical relay. It is used to switch on, switching on and off the high power circuit. And it is used as an electro magnetic mechanism of the electron switches. So, the answer for the question number six is uh, B and uh, B because. Uh, the relay is uh, slower than an uh, electronic solid state relay because uh, it is a movable part, so it is slower. And in the question number 12, consider the FPW on port port D3, initialize as the FPW out ABC bracket D3. To set a 50% duty cycle in the output port ABC, which of the following option can be used? Uh, we can use uh, two types. One is uh, directly mentioning ABC is equal to 0 0.5 and uh, ABC dot write 0 0.5. So uh, these two are correct answers. And uh, question number eight. Which of the following statement is our uh, true for the optocoupler? So, the optocoupler is uh, one of the type of sensor which is used to measure the RPM of the motor. So, here uh, every optical interruption and uh, switching on and off and LED is the correct answer, not the uh, photo transistor. LED will be on and off. Or the LED interruption. The ninth question is a very interesting question. Uh, here, the uh, transferring a DC motor connected to a wheel, metal wheel with uh, 12 slots. Uh, the wheel is uh, attached to the autocoupler that is uh, generating 60 interrupts in 1 second. Uh, the motor is rotating at what RPM? So, we can calculate this by using the formula of uh, RPM is equal to uh, number of uh, pulses into 60 divided by number of slots. So we can substitute uh, the uh, number of uh, pulses is uh, 60, 
60 into 60 divided by number of slot number of slot is 12 so we can get the answer of 300 rpm Detents the question. Uh, consider the following statement. So, set line function does not allow the direct printing of an integer value of LED display. So, the first statement is false. So, we can uh, print the integer value by using the set line function. Also. And uh, the second statement is also false. So, the print of the function can be used to convert and uh, store uh, integer value into character buffer character variable it is false print of the function is uh, that we use to print the value the values uh, in the output screen so the both the answers are false okay that's all for today in this video Okay. All the answers are correct as of my knowledge. So thank you for watching.